The following program contains graphic scenes and is not suitable for younger children. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to 16 by 9, The Bigger Picture. Some call it espionage, others the public's right to know. But whatever it is, the names Julian Assange and WikiLeaks are up front and center. But there's another name behind the infamous website that's just as controversial. And she's talking secrets. Our Stuart Greer tonight with the inside story. Item all up. Come on, fire. Hey, Roger. This was the opening shot in a war for and about information. A war between those who keep secrets and those who think there shouldn't be any. To move time now. All right, we just engaged all eight individuals. Leaked footage of U.S. soldiers aboard an Apache helicopter gunning down a group of insurgents and having the time of their lives. Oh yeah, look at those dead bastards. Nice. Let's shoot. Thank you. Less than a year after WikiLeaks released this infamous video, the organization of anti-secrecy crusaders has become a feared political force. And depending on whom you ask, WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange is either a criminal or a hero. Either way, everyone knows him, but chances are you might not know this woman. You don't have to be a remarkable individual. I'm just an ordinary human being, just like everybody in here. Her name is Birgitta Jan's daughter, and she is arguably as responsible for the WikiLeaks phenomenon as Julian Assange. 43-year-old Birgitta grew up on the fringes of her native Iceland, a free spirit and revolutionary. I am a poet, writer, activist for various things, including freedom of information. An activist with little interest in mainstream politics until 2009, and this, her country took to the streets protesting corrupt banking practices. Everything that I believed in in my society collapsed. So two weeks before elections, I decided to lead my constituency. And uh, to my great shock, I was in parliament two weeks later. <laughs> Suddenly, Birgitta was a power broker in a system she didn't respect or even trust. I often question if the democracy we think we have is dictatorship with many hats. That is sometimes called government. Then, one year after Birgitta was elected to parliament, Julian Assange showed her the horrifying footage from Iraq. She was shocked and angered. So angered when I saw the wounded man who was trying to get up and how the soldiers were hoping that they could kill him, and then in the end they actually did kill him. I got you to pick up a weapon. The insurgents the soldiers were trying to kill turned out to be civilians, including two Iraqi journalists. When rescuers came to help the wounded, they were attacked too. And the worst was yet to come. One small child wounded over. Oh, it's their fault for bringing their kids to a battle. That's right. I was outraged because I knew that there were so, so, so many incidents just like this one every day. That we never get to see. Outraged and determined that people would get to see, in that instant, Birgitta decided to take the video beyond the WikiLeaks website to the mainstream media. I think by bringing it out into the mainstream media like it was done, by introducing or having a press conference, um, was necessary. It was a moment of realization that would rock the world, but Birgitta wanted more than the truth to be exposed. I'm still waiting for the U.S. authorities to bring those to justice that um, performed and were responsible for these hideous crimes. She still waits, but while the U.S. government hasn't gone after those responsible, it is going after the people releasing secrets. It's not condemn the action that WikiLeaks has taken. Uh, it puts at risk uh, our national security. Well, in my opinion, um, reporting a war crime is not a crime. But the U.S. government charged Private Bradley Manning with treason for doing just that. Allegedly leaking the video to WikiLeaks in July, he's in solitary confinement awaiting court-martial this spring. And WikiLeaks frontman Julian Assange, who has stirred up so much trouble for governments, is at the center of a high-stakes legal drama of his own, accusations of rape in Sweden. Assange denies any wrongdoing and claims the charges are part of a dirty tricks campaign to smear him. 
I hope to continue my work and continue to protest my innocence in this matter. Innocent or not, on February 24th, a British judge ordered Assange extradited to Sweden, despite arguments by his lawyers that if he's sent to Sweden, he could then be sent to the U.S. for leaking documents, a crime punishable by death. Why is it that I am kept under electronic house arrest when I have not even been charged in any country? Assange is appealing the extradition. Birgitta left WikiLeaks over a disagreement with Assange, but still backs him and his cause. If Julian Assange would be persecuted for the work he's done to bring information to the rest of us, I would stick my neck out for him, and I think it is high time for that. Her neck is out. The U.S. Department of Justice successfully subpoenaed Birgitta's Twitter account, claiming the information sought is relevant to a criminal investigation against WikiLeaks. If they can actually go as far as demanding information from a parliamentarian in another country because they want to try to criminalize whistleblowing, then nothing's sacred. But there are two sides to this information war, and the other side says releasing government secrets puts lives in danger. Former Canadian UN Ambassador Paul Heinbecker. How do they know that what they're doing is not causing harm? I think that that's, a, that's an enormous uh, arrogance on their part. But there's one country with a whole lot of secrecy, Canada. Researcher Ben Worthy compared freedom of information practices in five Commonwealth countries. And Canada, once a world leader, now ranks dead last. Our research shows that one of the fundamental things is political leadership. We felt that there was very few political champions higher up who supported freedom of information, and that percolated down into the bureaucracy. Whatever side of the information war you're on, Heinbecker warns WikiLeaks' quest for more freedom of information could backfire. The government will react to this not by giving up and saying, okay, uh, you can have everything we have. They're going to they're gonna react by saying this stuff is important. We have a responsibility to keep it uh, confidential and, and we're going to take steps to make sure that happens. And that is reason enough for Birgitta to keep fighting. I find it to be very, very important that there is a place in our world like Wikileaks where it is safe to leak documents that belong in the public domain. And that's it for us tonight. If you have a story idea, just call us at 1-877-TELL-69 or visit our website at global16by9.com. I'm Mary Garofalo. Thank you for watching. And from all of us here, good night. If you've got a story idea for 16 by 9, call our tip line. Sixteen by nine, the bigger picture. That's a wrap.